how pretty. Feels good to be outside under the stars again. This should be a good place to try and charge this amulet. Okay, I'll just rest it up here. Neat! So, an amulet charged by the moon. Let's see if this works. Oh, pretty. It's all blue and glowing now. I guess that means it's charged. What is that thing? Geez, the witch has some weird machines. At least it's given the bird a place to build his nest. What luck, a raven. Hey, Mr. Raven. Um... Would you mind letting me have one of your feathers? I'll take that as a no then, huh? That looks a little out of place. I wonder if the roof is cracked or damaged there. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, that spot should be right around the bird's nest. Bird's feather is as good as mine. Dragon, the witch must have done this to him so he would power that machine. <laughs> Not too happy about seeing another bird on his roof. At least he's distracted now. Here's my chance. Easy does it, Anna. Just reach up, pluck one out. <coughs> ah! I'm sorry. I think I better get out of here. I don't think he was very impressed by that, but hey, I got a raven's feather for the spell now. No, the sink drain is too small to fit my hand in. Wait, I think I can see something down inside the sink's drain. I think it's... it's... Ew! It's just some old soggy hair. Must be the witches. I need that for the spell too. It's really far down though. This might be tricky. Curse you, Anna! There's a section of pipe here that looks pretty loose. I could probably take this off to try and get that hair out. There. I don't see any point holding on to this pipe, though. Open this door right now. That should stop any water from coming through now. Well, it worked. All the hair is floated to the top. <sighs> so, so gross. Yuringo? Are you there? Hi again, Anna. Yuringo, you lied to me. There's no passageway, just a basement. Okay, okay. 
just hear me out. In the basement, Winfrieda has something to untrap me. Well, it's a plain gold ring. My wedding ring, actually. The thing is, <laughs> I... I kinda don't know where it is exactly. But I know Winfrieda keeps it downstairs. Please, I, I beg you, find my ring and bring it to me. All right, I'll find it. I just need a little help too now. I'm going to try to make a spell, a protection spell, and apparently I need to have the cauldron downstairs blessed by the dead. Uh, yeah, yes, sure, I'll do that. Just get the ring, okay, Anna? You have to find it. Yuringo? Are you there? Hi again, Anna. I found it, Yuringo. Is that... Could it be? Let me see. Oh, hold it out for me. I... I, I don't believe it. I'm free! Yay! That's great, Yuringo. Yurinde! I have to go find Yurinde. But, um... Do you mind just helping me quickly with the cauldron? My little nightingale! Oh, my silent dove! Or Yurinko will find you and save you from this wretched place! Um, yes, but Yurinko? The cauldron? Fear not, my nightingale! I'm coming now! Yurinko? Please wait! Yuringo? Great. Thanks a lot, Yuringo. Now how am I going to find someone to bless the cauldron? Nope. That thing stuck fast. Hmm. If this is where all the spell scraps end up, who knows what we could find down there? Mm. Ugh! This place stinks! It looks like the witch's dumping ground. Everything looks like leftovers of spells, witchcraft, and... Um, people. You know, that looks a lot like the stuff the witch tried to feed me. It looks like the witch's dumping ground. Everything looks like um, people. It fell down there when I blew it up with my power. Wow, that still sounds really, really bizarre. That skeleton seems to have a pretty tight grip on that thing. Must have been quite important to them, whoever they were. That skeleton seems to must have been. That skeleton must have been. Get it out of the ooze from way up here. This is going to be perfect for picking up something, something that's out of reach, I suppose. <laughs> perfect shot. All right, easy does it. A bit goopy, but I still got it. Open this door right now. So if this book is correct, then this should help bring the ghost of whoever that is in the pit? Well... I've tried sillier things so far that have worked out. 
Here goes nothing, I guess. All right. Got to sleep, got to sleep. Come on, Anna. No more being awake now. I'm not even sleepy, though. Hmm. What would Grandpa say to help me sleep? He'd say, Come now, Anna. Lay down your head. The time for sleep is here.